The Beijing Olympics 2008. Afghan sprinter Rabina Jilali is the only woman among four athletes representing her country. In 2004, she competed in the Athens Games. Not bad for a girl who grew up in a country under the rule of the Taliban, which banned females playing sport. Two years on, and Rabina is competing in a completely different arena, standing as a candidate in the upcoming Afghan parliamentary elections. با یک بگراند خوب با ما همی بوده که تحصال مبارزه کرده مردم با ما آشناهی داره در این لحاظ نه با کدام عزب سیاسی نه با کدام ارگان سیاسی نه با کدام ملکت پرستی و زبان پرستی و قرار ندارم و نمیخوایم داشته باشم میخوایم که یک وکیل مستقل مردم یک وکیل واقعیت که احساس مردم خود درک کرده باشم Rubina woke this morning to hear someone had tried to sabotage her campaign. Despite her campaign keeping her busy, Rubina will still go running when possible. It helps keep her competition spirit awake. One thing that strikes you about this 20-something-year-old, it's rare for Afghan women to reveal their age, is the attention she gives to her personal appearance. Rubina is single, living in a culture where it's custom for women to marry young and be expected to live as a housewife. Rubina views marriage as a roadblock to her career plans. Look at this. She's mobbed by men wherever she goes. Even when she drives her car, men will follow her. In her sporting days, Rabina would receive threats from the Taliban, but not so much now. Back in the office, and Rabin is holding court for a group of disabled men. They complain about how in previous election rounds they were promised jobs but none materialized and better health care but they don't see any improvements. While Rabina wants to appeal to all voters, it's the youth audience she really wants to capture. One place to try and promote sport is in schools, but schools in Afghanistan are so cash-strapped that some can barely afford to function. This head teachers telling how they don't even have the money to buy examination papers for students. Rabina's got her work cut out, and she knows it. There's no denying her popularity as a sports star, but can she conjure the same support for her political ambitions? She'll have to wait until mid-September to find out. Mel Preen in Afghanistan for the NATO Channel.